This is one of the thinnest and lightest cases for the iPhone 14 lineup in the entire world. This case right here has one of the most unique designs I've ever seen. I think the best way to describe it is that it feels like you don't have a case on your iPhone or like you have a deer brand skin that happens to be a case that you can take off if you get what I mean. But this case is around 60 pounds or dollars and I have to say for the value I think it's absolutely worth it. I have tried so many cases but almost all of them are bulky and heavy and they make the phone even bigger and they also hide the phone design which is a shame because you paid all that money to just hide it with a case but this case is different because it still offers the bare minimum of protection it covers the cameras the back and most of the edges of the phone while giving you this experience of it making the phone look better feel better in your hand and I would definitely recommend it for someone who is looking for a minimal good looking and high quality case that's premium and has MagSafe. And speaking of MagSafe, I think every case nowadays must have MagSafe because I personally use it all the time. Like using the MagSafe chargers that I have on my desk and the one I have in my car or the pop socket which I've done a review on all of them. If you want to check them out, they'll be in the description below. And actually one of the things that I've always wanted to do is to just use my phone without a case on because the materials that Apple use to build their phones are so high quality but obviously using the phone without a case on is quite risky at least for someone like me who is not going to be able to buy a new iPhone every so often just because I dropped it without a case but after I got this case I would prefer to use it rather than using the phone naked without a case on because I still feel like I don't have a case on and I will enjoy the carbon fiber that Pataka used on this case which makes the phone much easier to hold compared to the materials on the iPhone which are quite slippery as you can see the case I have is just a black virgin but Pitaka sells other colors always to customize the case you want so I would highly recommend looking at the other colors or options that they offer if you are considering this case however I think this case still has some negatives just like any other case this case is called the Meg EZ3 and I think it's similar to the Pro Virgin because both of them leave some fingerprints and the massive charges will leave a mark on the case which is a bit annoying but I think it's fine with a quick wipe it's all gone this case in particular annoys me with the buttons because it has a very weird design for the buttons half of the edge is covered with the case but the other half that has the button is not covered with the case and when i try to press the button i would actually be pressing on the case not the button itself so i don't know it's not a big deal but finding the buttons and pressing them is not as easy as other cases that i've used and tried but other than that i think this case is really good so if you are someone who's careful with their phone and want a simple case that doesn't hide the iPhone design I would absolutely recommend this one but obviously if you scratch your phone a lot or you drop it I don't recommend this case to you I would actually recommend you the other case that Bitaka sell that I mentioned earlier which is the Bitaka Meg EZ3 Pro and although it's a bit more expensive but it's much thicker and much heavier with a slightly different design so if you want to check that out that'll be in the description below but yeah that was it for this video I hope you guys found that useful and thank you for watching.